Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Reverso Context available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Go ahead and open up Reverso Context and what it's going to do is bring us into the main screen where we can see our last searches as well as search suggestions down below based upon what we've already searched for. Now up at the top of the screen we can choose our source and target languages. So right now English is our source language and this will allow me to go ahead and tap in here and choose the language I would like to use as my source. So if I was looking to go ahead and translate from French to Spanish, tapping on French will now be my source language and Spanish is my target. And tapping in the target, this will change based upon your source language. So being that I've selected French, these are my target languages that I can choose to translate into. I'm going to go and choose my source to be English and we'll keep it on Spanish for now. So I'm going to go and type in my search here. I'm going to go and type in allow and I'm going to go and tap search. Now what this does is this is really neat. Reverso context actually shows me a definition of the word in context to that actual word. So notice my first result. International regulatory frameworks also need to allow flexibility in designing national strategies. And down below is the Spanish equivalent of that entire sentence. Now I can go ahead and hear this by tapping on the microphone next to that actual sentence. And this will play it in Spanish. Los marcos normativos internacionales debían también permitir la flexibilidad en la formulación de las estrategias nacionales. Now what you can also do is reverse that. So if I want to hear this in English, I'll just go ahead and tap on English. International regulatory frameworks also need to allow flexibility in designing national strategies. I think that's really cool. You can see this all in context. And if you wanted to hear just the word by itself, go ahead and tap this down arrow up in the top. You can see all the different definitions of what that actually could be. And we're noticing that this first word is the actual definition that I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. And now it narrows it down. It's allow, enable, or permit. And if I tap on the microphone, it's just going to play this one word. Permitir. And now what I can do is actually search by voice. So up in the top right hand corner next to the search bar, if I tap on that, it's going to allow me to dictate my actual search results. Now where reversal context really comes into play too is when you're actually browsing the web. So let's go ahead and jump into Safari and I happen to have loaded in the Apple website. Now I wanted to find a word definition. I'm going to go ahead and tap and hold on a word here and I'm going to tap on the share button. Notice Reverso Context is the first one down in the bottom left hand corner. If I tap on that, it's actually going to translate that word from English into Spanish. This is using the settings that I already have set up inside the app. Now what I can do is actually open up in Reverso Context. It's going to open up Reverso Context and bring me in that definition. So let's go ahead and change my target language from Spanish. Let's change that one into French. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back into my actual web search. We'll close Reversal Context and let's go ahead and choose a different word. We'll tap Share and now we'll do the Reversal Context. And notice this one is translating English to French, being that I have changed that in the main application. So that's really neat that you can do that from within inside of Safari on iOS, making finding definitions for words really quick and really painless. Now let's go ahead and tap in the top left hand corner and open up the side menu. I can tap on New Search, which is the page that we first loaded into when we first launched Reverso Context. I'm going to go ahead and check out my search history, which is my history of everything that I've searched for. I have my phrase book, which is really cool because I can save different phrases into this book just by tapping on the star button. So let's go ahead and come into a search history. Let's go ahead and find a word. I'll go ahead and tap on changed and it's going to search for all the definitions and context. And if I tap the star next to where the microphone was where we listened, it's actually going to add that into my phrase book. So now if I open up the phrase book and I look for changed, notice it's English to Spanish changed. I have that there. This is going to help me learning languages really quickly and finding all the definitions right here with inside of my favorite words that I might be having trouble with or ones that I just like to keep for later. Going up in that side menu again, I can tell a friend, upgrade to pro, which this will allow me to have 100 searches available automatically offline, up to 500 full examples of my vocabulary list, a limit of voice input, and even more results and no ads. And I can purchase that for $4.99 a year with an in-app purchase. Then also in the side menu, we have our reverso translation, which will go ahead and open up a web page where I can see the translations here for different definitions of words. 
And then the last couple things in my side menu is login, which I can log in and I can actually save more phrases to my passbook instead of just the default 15. And I can also view about this application. So once again, this is called reverse of context. If you like it, pick it up in the app store for your iPhone and iPad and the Google Play Store for your Android devices.